mermaid painting that I did. I called this one Serena. She just looked like she'd be called Serena. <laughs> um, all of my original art cards are one of a kind. You know, the art cards are two and a half by three and a half inches. I always start with the face, and many of y'all who follow me, I, when I'm doing the painting this small, I like to use Prismacolor, watercolor, pencils, because I love those. I love the way they react on that bristle paper. Um, I also sometimes will use Prismacolor pencils on top of the watercolor if I feel like it needs it. Um, I also use the low Cornell, you know, palette of colors. I just switch back and forth, and that's just how I do it. Um, as you can see, I've not actually cut that out yet. I'm laying the base color of her brown hair down right there. But you can see on the bottom, before I put anything into the painting, I put that color somewhere close to the painting to make sure that I like that color and if it if I think it looks good with it. Um, this particular painting, I wanted to kind of make her look, you know, more like a teenager in the face or a young adult female instead of, you know, like a cartoonish looking child like I normally like to paint with, but I think she turned out real nice. Um, I like to use a lot of purples and pinks and in my artwork. And even though it looks very dominant in her hair, the purple and pink, it's not that dominant. It's just the way the light is shining in my window. Um, her hair is uh, like a lightish brown color and those darker areas that look um, pink and purple, they're not really there in reality. That's just a shade. And then of course, I always have to re-ink my pictures. But all of my original art trading cards are one of a kind. Um, I don't make prints of them, so there I am cutting it out. There she is. I'm just about finished. I'm just putting a few finishing touches and inking in a place or two. And there you go. And I really appreciate you stopping by. And thank you for watching.